Zero Discrimination Day is set aside to celebrate the right of everyone to live a full and productive life and live it with dignity without fear or favor. This celebration is done nationwide on the 1st of March every year. The theme for this year is discrimination against women and girls. Our reporter, Israel Ami, has more details on this report. Zero Discrimination Day alights our people can be informed about inclusion, compassion, peace, and above all, a movement for change. This day helps to create a global movement of solidarity to end all forms of discrimination. When we are talking about discrimination, it involves giving preference to one uh, person based on gender or race or even disability. So there are still some other areas in which discrimination can take place. But when we are now coming down, uh, when we are narrowing down to women, th this is a situation in which male child is being preferred to a female child. Uh, discrimination as it is, uh, is a social problem. Uh, and of course it cut across not just Africa, not just Nigeria. Uh, it's an international problem. And up to now, even the United Nations and all other related groups are still dealing with how to solve the problem of discrimination. Then some, some women believe that, oh, they, uh, no matter what I try to do in life, I will still end up in kitchen. Uh, and because of that, they feel reluctant, they refuse to even contribute their own uh, knowledge to the development of the community. But uh, there's need for women to, to think beyond that, 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 oh, I can still influence or affect my, my society positively. I can still conf uh, affect my generation positively. The society has more or less institutionalized the factors that influence, that bring about in discrimination at different stages. So uh, in different institutions, different sectors, you find indiscrimination manifesting even at a level so disturbing that you feel that it's probably worse than the pandemic we talk about nowadays. It is highly important to identify the challenges and hold on to the focus held to solve the problems of discrimination against women in every sector by empowering them and spreading awareness. Through counseling and through seminars and workshops, those students can be enlightened, the female students can be enlightened, and that one can assist them to boost their self-confidence and self-esteem in order to achieve the zero discrimination that we are talking about. Uh, the different sectors, different institutions that make up our society must rise up to the occasion. Uh, and by establishing rules and policies that will enhance that kind of balancing, that will cut off and discourage every form of um, injustice, every form of disadvantages. So if you have sectors and institutions being aware of this, it becomes very easy for all other people and all other stakeholders to handle it. When we are now narrowing down to women, that is provision of education, training or skills, for women so that they will become self they will become gainfully employed and self dependence I, I think the government knows precisely what they can do you are making fun for them start from giving them jobs that can take care of their challenges together with personal efforts of the women government is employed to support with economic empowerment and annual budget allocation as this would help in one way or the other to eradicate poverty in the society. Israel Ame reporting for Kaftan TV News.